Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I'm not super sure what happened here with this Beerus story event, but I do have an idea. Um, so let's look at this. So, this story event, uh, this is new stages, uh, you know, final stages added to the Sun Goku and God of Destruction uh, Super Warrior Memorial event. Um, I believe there is three new stages, and in all three stages we can grind up EX skill orbs for um, LR Sleepy Beerus. Um, considering the way LR Beerus is set up, I like if we could get a lot of defensive equips, it probably could be a good thing for him. Or, I mean, dodge. I, like, if they're going to give us dodge plus defensive equips, we're definitely looking good there. Um, I, because I, I did equip my Sleepy Beerus, I think, with some pretty good stuff. Um, and I believe he did dodge a super in the winning Super Bosses run. He did, right? Um, I think he dodged Tech Gogeta's super, which I think he would have tanked well. But still, um, taking zero damage is obviously better than taking any. So, uh, there's that. So, we have these three new stages. Now, this was supposed to come out, you know, a week ago, by the way. Yeah, Realm of Gods is still um, the special drop rate bonus here. This was supposed to come out a week ago. I bet... So, a lot of times when they drop these stages, there's no Z-Hard difficulty stage. It's only just... It, it's only... There's only, like, one difficulty stage, right? Like, we see this... The Frieza event is like this. I bet the thing is, is that they might have accidentally put stages in right here and like it was weird or something that that's what i'm guessing because i don't think we've never seen there's a several events scattered around where there's like immortal bosses where there's only one difficulty level like hold on why don't i pull them up as an example because I, I i can think of two right now all right so here we have two stages uh here's one in the middle of the tournament of power uh story event right there against jiren because i believe jiren I think you can't beat him, right? And then the same thing in the, uh, you know, Dragon Fist, um, Dragon Ball story. Uh, there's this fight where I think Harutagarn infinitely dodges. There's just occasionally stages scattered around um, that are kind of like like that, right? So, all right, let's... Um... Oh, yeah, look at this. Dodge plus defense. There we go. Yeah, that's that looks pretty good. So there's at least one equip we could get here for Sleepy Beerus, Pajamas Beerus, to buff him. So that sounds pretty good. Okay, let's go and jump in. Let's do the new story stages um, and uh, start farming up some of these equips. Uh, I think I've grinded up enough of Frieza's equips. I haven't done Frieza's showcase yet because I, uh, I, I wanted to grind all those equips up and then probably use some of them because I think there was some def raw defense plus dodge. You know, does look pretty uh, enticing um, for that Frieza. And, you know, so I haven't done his showcase yet. Because there, there's just... Dude, there, there's so much. I, there's so many events. So many things to do. So many showcases to do, right? Like, it's like I... You know, I, I'm doing my best. You know, putting up 50 videos a day. Try... I'm try, I'm trying. I'm trying. All right, let's jump in. Uh, they want us to use Blue Goku and Vegeta. I don't really care. That's fine. Um, because that's still a, a Realm of Gods LR, which is going to get us our max drop rate bonus. All right, so this is... Oh, yeah, dude. This was one of my favorite episodes right here. I hate... Okay, so that they're supposed to be in space, but, like, they're using the Zen exhibition match space for that. That bothers me so much. I guess the reason they did that is because they're in, like, Whis's little, like, barrier, right? Talking about it. Oh, no, wait, never mind. This is when Beerus Hakai is Zamasu. Yeah. I thought this was when Goku fights Zamasu for the first time. This is when Beerus Hakai's his ass. That's what this is right here. I assume Hakai Beerus is going to be an LR at some point or something. They could do something. Like, Hakai Beerus doesn't... Like, I feel like he hasn't really had a chance to... Shine in Dragon Ball games too much. I mean, you can Hakai in Dragon Ball Fighters, but it's only if you do it to Goku Black or Zamasu or something like that, right? Like, that's the only way you can actually... Um, get the Hakai and fighters like it's not I gotta ask Goresh what the Hakai Beerus is like I mean there has to be one in heroes right I know there's the Hakai blue Goku by the way I bet Dokkan could use that because I mean it, so anything in heroes Dokkan should be able to use 
So uh, Heroes has the, the blue Goku doing the Hakai from the manga. So I think Dokkan could use... Yeah, there it is. Goodbye. That, that's that got to be an LR, right? Like, they got to make Hakai Beerus like a carnival LR or some shit. Um, that's why, like, maybe Sleepy Beerus could be good, uh, depending upon the situation. I, I don't know. I, we'll see. The one thing that'll be nice for Sleepy Beerus is he at least will be good to juice up um, a, a theoretical Hakai Beerus, right? Because it's going to be a, another Beerus that's going to share most of their links together. Uh, so that's a, like a really good thing that they gave um, Pajamas Beerus that new name of Beerus Pajamas. And not just call him Beerus. Right. All anyone could do is complain about Fusion Zamasu's name. But, I mean, I'm choosing to look at it from like the positive side of things. And that I really think that they are not going to make like that type of mistake again. That's the biggest point there. So that's really good. Um, okay, loading is like really bad today. Okay, okay. I, I was just on the, the brink of like pausing to let the load finish. Uh, none of those. Uh, I will not be putting any of those on Beerus. It's like, dude, putting like additionals or crits on Pajamas Beerus has got to be one of the most insane things to, like... Uh, no way, man. No way. I, 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 please, if you have, like, a crit build on Pajamas Beerus, please tweet it to me. Show me. Show me the crit build for Pajamas. Like, that's... You, you, oh, God, this... I, like, I, it actually just gives me, like... I, like, I'm shivering, man. Like, it's like, oh, my God. It's... Like, again, guys, there can be wrong builds. And Pajamas Beerus, who doesn't attack for the first four turns... And then you get one turn where he's really good because he's very strong defensively and will draw all attacks towards himself, right? All right, so here's Goku versus Bergamo. I mean, we eventually could... I do think they could give us, like, an, a Bergamo that could be cool. I mean, could Bergamo be a Dokkan Fest? I guess. I, Bergamo would certainly be one of the most unhyped Dokkan Fests ever. But, I mean, I don't... I, the problem with Bergamo... I think it's his categories. Let me take a look at the Bergamo in game. Like, Bergamo is not on Super Bosses. Uh, he probably should be, considering where Brienne is. Bergamo is on Universal Survival Saga, Giant Form, Siblings Bond, and Tournament Participants. Uh, he probably, I mean, because of his Super Attack animation, he probably could and should be on Join Forces as well, right? Like, we could get, like, a Trio of Dangers card or something like that. Like, there's. You know, as Dokkan, you know, we're in the ninth year now, right? You know, ninth anniversary. Well, I mean, kind of the tenth year, but whatever. I mean, you know, we're, we're nine anniversaries in. At this point, I mean, if I said Dokkan Fest Bergamo, like, uh, you know, I, I'd rather they just get to all these characters, right? Like, sure, they could drop another Dokkan Fest Majin Vegeta, and that's going to be fire. Right, like I, dude, I'd be down for another Majin Vegeta. There's, there is so many different ways they could use some of these animations to make it look good. And Majin Vegeta does a lot of fighting. He's not around that long, but he is fighting the entire time. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, but he's fighting the entire time he is around. Right. Oh, we got to turn this because. Uh oh, I, one great thing about the end of the anniversary, as incredible as it was. Um, is there's not going to be copyrighted songs in the game anymore after anniversary. Thank God. Can't wait for that. Uh, but yeah, Majin Vegeta does so much fighting against, obviously, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, and then he fights Fat Boo. All right, now we have UI Sign Goku. Still a lot of a lot of characters from this moment. I do think that, like, a base Vegeta swap into UI Goku would be one of the coolest characters we could see, man. That shit would be just so fire. Oh, mastered UI here. Okay, okay. Get all the way up to that. Sure, sure, sure. Against full power tune. So this is the stage where we grind out the gold equips. One thing that was really nice about the Frieza stuff, like the Frieza stage, is it's one stage and all the equips just drop. So it's like, you know, I'm playing a little Final Fantasy 16 and the equips are dropping. But now here, it's... Bro, I gotta do three different stages? God damn it. They're driving me nuts over here. Alright, so there we go. Uh, oh, and all we got... We didn't even get any of the equips. Oh boy, okay. So, there we go. There's the new stages. 
Um, let me know what you guys think about the, you know, pajamas, Beerus, everything about him. I mean, he's... He does have value. I'll give him that. I, I don't really see myself using First Form Freeze, I don't think, nearly ever. But pajamas, Beerus, I mean... That Super Boss's mission was really tough, and he did help. I mean, he had some bad moments in the video, but he did help as well, so we'll take that. And uh, we'll see what the ninth anniversary has to offer us, too. Uh, what exciting treats and tricks we could get from Big Dokkan Fest or LRs throughout the year. Uh, oh, and we get court issues right at the end. Well, I, I love court issues at the end when we're already wrapping up. That's not a problem. That is no problem. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. We got all the stages done. I'll, I'll get to grinding these equips up. Um, I don't think anything about these equips would really merit doing, like, a, another showcase for Pajamas Beerus. I suppose we could do, like, a Pajama Beerus versus, like, Cell Max. No, he, he, you can't run him against... I mean, you could run him against Cell Max, but, like, that would... No, nah, you know, we probably don't want to run Sleepy Beerus against Cell Max. That probably would be the greatest idea, but I... I could, I could run Pajamas Beerus against some of these fights, right? And we could probably see him being able to do some stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think about all the, you know, shenanigans of the ninth anniversary. Uh, oh, and we get a delicious, delicious title. I'll take that. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you all next time.